All right, uh, this is a knife that was relatively expensive for its size, but if you take a good look at it, you will understand probably why. Very good quality. It uh, probably goes up for its, in the mid-range of the Boker category or lower mid-range of the Boker category. Uh, and it's a Boker Plus, and it's called an Urban Survival LE Knives Black. And it's 01B0911 if you need that. It'll either be in a subscript on this uh, video or in the description, so you can check it out if you want to. Uh, about 36 37 bucks. Now, this is a knife that really has no socially redeeming qualities. It is, it is a basic knife, so you can use it to open packages. Uh, it's, you can use, and it's, uh, it has a one opener click there. I'll talk about that later. You can use it to open pack, packages or veins. This is basically, uh, it's tailored for, and it's a, in its ad, the law enforcement community for a quick portable uh, type of uh, equipment. That's not, that's, it's called a Wagner Urban. And uh, that's not an unusual category for knives. Anytime you have a knife that doesn't have a lot of qualities other than the ones you would do to inflict some pain or damage, it quite often falls into the law enforcement category. It's about five inches long. The blade is one and five eighths inches. So basically, what you're doing is trying to find some way to uh, give somebody some pain or some discomfort. You're going for face. You're going for if they get you by the hand. You're going for the hand to get away to run, etc. This that's basically what this knife is for. And like I said, it's key marked for quote unquote the uh, law enforcement community. Uh, it's uh, you know it's small. Uh, it's a rescue knife. You can use it to cut your way out of something. It's a single-sided blade. I'm not exactly sure the redeeming qualities there. It makes the blade considerably thinner, but and it's uh, it's relatively sharp. It could be made sharper. And like I said, it's a single-sided blade. There is no blade on the other side. The the uh, there is no uh, bevel on the other side. The bevel is on one side. It has a uh, a glass breaker. Very uh. Very small little pin here that I guess you could hit it and open the clad. Has a pocket clip so you could use it like a pin in your pocket if you uh, if you have a pocket in your clothes any given time. Uh, and uh, so it's it's easily hideable. It has a little hardware kit and basically that hardware kit is to remove the uh, the finger open capability here because in some European countries uh, you cannot have a uh, a single hand opening knives you must have a uh, a a, uh, a knife that you have to open with both hands so uh, it, it's just built for either community built for the American community and any other any other country that doesn't require that and then you can use this to remove that and then all of a sudden it becomes illegal in virtually any jurisdiction that allows knives this would be legal it's a very short knife it it uh, like I said it doesn't it doesn't have a lot of social qualities that you would think that a knife would have to show it's practical. Basically, it's a defense knife, and I would not mind uh, if a lady would have, lady would carry this in a uh, in a situation where she can hit and run. If uh, if she's in trouble, this would not be a bad choice. Or right, gentlemen, uh, just want to give you a look at this one. It's an unusual knife, an expensive purchase for its size. But I saw it and it just sort of struck my fancy. I thought I'd get a look at it and I kind of like it. Who knows? If uh, I'm in, in an uncomfortable situation, I might stick it in my pocket one of these days. Not for use, just in case. <laughs> I will talk to you later. You have a wonderful day.